Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. We hope you enjoy our corned beef recipe. A lot of people don't know that we're from a family of butchers right here in Cooperstown. And my grandfather would be quite proud of me that I've known my cuts. This is a, a brisket from a cow. A brisket is right about here. And a brisket comes with two separate types of meat on it. What's called the flat end and then the point. So what I've done with this brisket, which is about uh, 13 pounds, is I've taken a lot of the excess fat off, and this has already has been corned, so it was brined with salt and water, and I've trimmed a lot of the fat, and as you take away the fat, you'll notice it comes away in two separate pieces. This top end, which is called the point, has a lot more fat and marbling in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate it for this recipe into two different uh, actual pieces both the flat and the point. So the flat end, you'll notice as we cut it down, it's, it'll be more like a steak as we cut across it. The, the grain goes this way, whereas the point goes this way. Mm -hmm. So this way we'll be slicing it. The point has a little bit more fat and it has a little more marbling. So I like to reserve that point and use a lot of that in our hash that we would have like yeah, the next day. I love your hash. <laughs> so we have the point here and then the flat. And then what we're going to do is we're going to treat it with our cinnamon chipotle butt massage and top it with our chili stone ground mustard. All right, so now we've separated the point from the flat and I use what I call the uh, aluminum foil method for yeah. slow roasting our, our corned beef. So grab your first sheet and I have six sheets total. You might think that this is a little bit of a waste of uh, uh, aluminum foil, but in the end it'll pay off. So just make little corners, make a little tray out of, out of your uh, aluminum foil. And there you go. So you're gonna be doing the point and I'm gonna be doing the flat. Okay, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Here so we are. there's your point. Glad you're lifting it. <laughs> and it will shrink down quite a bit after we, as we're cooking it. So this big 13 pounds, by the time we've trimmed off the fat and cooked it down, it'll probably end up to about seven pounds of finished meat. Yeah. So we're gonna take our cinnamon chipotle butt massage. This is cinnamon chipotle, also has uh, sugar in it and other spices, it, uh, nutmeg. It smells delicious. So really pour it on. Sometimes you have to take the top off. To oh really no, mine's good working good. Really, you really oh. don't want a lot of it. Well, you. Look at all Look at that. that. Nice. Rub it both sides. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the rub, Mom. Put it right on. I use this on my pork, too, you know. You do? Yeah. We have a lot of other uh, rubs on our online store. The one I like also is our squillin' pig rub. I use that on pork chops and on salmon. It tastes very good. Oh, salmon's great. Yep. Okay, flip oh. it over. I know it's rigged. There you go. Thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rub it right on, get it all murked right into it. Pretend you're giving Grandpa a massage. Just really ah, rub it right on that's there. Really <laughs> all right. Here a little bit more. They're all okay. around the edges. All right. So this is going to be our tops and then our bottoms. It's important to keep those separate. You like that? Yeah. Smell? Yeah. Yeah, it's cinnamon -y. <laughs> Okay, so you can take your gloves off. And then I'm going to lift it up, so we're going to spread it on our bed of pureed... Oh, that's right. Pure, ...pureed onions. So I use about three onions for a hole, and I pureed them in our uh, food processor. Put the whole thing right on there, spread it around. These are really sweet onions. These sweet are sweet onions. onions, yeah. All right, then we're going to lay that down. And I'll lift up mine, you can put my onions on, okay? Sure. See? There we go. Spread it right around. And okay. So now we're gonna uh, spread our chili stone ground mustard right on the top. That's, that's this. That's the chili stone ground mustard. This happens to be our favorite. That's a good old standby. Um, also on our online store, we have a lot more mustards, including our pub beer mustard that we're featuring here today. We have some horseradish, German horseradish mustard. 
Honey Dijon, lots of mustards right on our website at flycreekcidermill.com. All right, so we slathered it right on. Very good. Now... Looks like we're painting. <laughs> well, you're the artist. <laughs> All right, so now what we're going to add is a little bit of liquid. We have 12 ounces for the both of these. So I'm using our um, Fly Creek Original Hard Cider. You can also use a dark beer as well. Anything to give it some really good flavor. So we'll put about half, half on yours. And we'll put half on mine. Just dump it right in there. See, we're making a moat. Right. <laughs> now, a moat of just bring, it, bring all your edges up so it doesn't spill on the counter. <laughs> we're all right up in there. Okay, now comes the trick with the foil method. So grab another piece of foil. We're going to do, we started with our first sheet, now we've got five sheets. So put it right on the top, push it down, and then just go right around with it. Okay? Tuck it right in there. Pretend you were tucking me in when I was in diapers. <laughs> yeah, you were. Busier, bigger than so, that. <laughs> so now another one. Now we're going to lift that one up because oh. we're going to overlap those. Whoa. Remember, this is the top side. We want to keep, remember where our top is. I have never done this before. I know. Well, back in the day, you'd think this is a waste of aluminum foil. <laughs> but as you can see, this is going to create an, its own steaming cavity, and nothing's going to get out of it. You're faster than I am. Well. <laughs> My goodness sake. There we go. One last piece. All right. So what we're going to do is this is going to go right into a sheet tray at 225 degrees for about four hours because we've taken that whole piece down into two sections. So we will um, put this in right at 225 for four, four to four and a half hours. Okay. So it, it's been going now for about four and a half hours. We've enjoyed a little bit of our un wild onion flavored cheddar while snacking on that with our pub beer mustard. And you know what I do is when we make it with a Reuben, with what's left yes. over, I put the uh, wild onion cheddar on that and even some of that pub beer mustard. So Ooh. you get a lot of offerings out of this meal between the hash, the Reubens, or to just plate it. It's delicious. Yes. So now we're gonna take this out. So this is your point that came out. Let's put it right there. And I'll have the flat. So as you can see, not a lot has come out. So the aluminum foil is really held in this liquid. So now here comes the big reveal. So we'll just cut it open. And look at, uh, cut yours open now. Oh. Because this juice we want to use. So we won't, we'll reserve all this juice and the onions because that's going to go into our hash the next day. You can see the flavors coming off of it from that cinnamon chipotle. I'm still working on it. All this foil. <laughs> see how, see how it's gone a lot smaller? Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh. We've got a little bit of aluminum foil in there. So we'll take it out. Mm. Isn't that great? The flavors of mm. the meat, the juice. Wow. So that's the flat. And this is the point. Oh boy, look how it Look at how moist it is though. Yeah. Boy, look at so the good So all juice. that good juice with the onions, we're yeah. gonna save. And that's gonna be part can of our sauce. Can you can make a sauce out of that. Or you can use it right in your hash. Yeah. So you don't have to cut up onions for your hash. Yummy, yum, so yum. So now yum. we'll just look and see how and what nice slices you're gonna get oh, from this. Oh wow. Just like a just like that rest that deli restaurant. <laughs> <laughs>
and wow so this is the flat you can and you'll be able to see the two different kinds yum i just think it's important for people to understand the two different types of cuts on that brisket because this is um the flat is going to be a little bit leaner mm. And you can see how that, where we started with about 13 pounds, that's gonna shrink right down. And then this is the point, which we gotta find the grain here, because we always cut across the grain, just like grandpa used to say. There it is. Mm. Now this is the point, and you'll be able to see the two different shapes of that, as well as the point has, oh, is a little, yes, bit, yes, little yes. bit fattier. And all the trimmings, of course, go into your hash for the next day. But this will feed a party of 10. And you are going to get reviews like you've never had before. <laughs> so let's try a little piece of that. Mm -hmm. Try the point. Yeah, the flat and part of the point. Wow. That's for you. Thank you. And I'll try a little bit of that. So remember, this is all available. Mm. The spice mixes are from our online store. It's so tender and good. Yummy. Melts in your mouth. Yeah. Four hours mm. at 275, low and slow. So now this recipe is very simple and easy. You can use it as your main entree tonight, as a corned beef sandwich or hash the next morning. All the trimmings as well as the juices and the onion will go right into your hash. So that's about it, Mom. Wow, you did a great job, Bill. Make, do I make you proud? Yes, you do. Aww. <laughs> Thanks for having me, and we hope everybody enjoys our recipe today, yes. as well as the flavors from the mill. Of course, again, we have our stone ground chili mustard, yeah. our cinnamon chipotle butt massage. We flavored it with our liquid. You can even use sweet cider in your liquid. And while you're enjoying it, we have our wild onion cheddar and our pub beer mustard. Cheers, Mom. Cheers. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>